Okay, everybody. Hey, it's John V3 IPS. I'm going to show you today the Helinox Tactical Field Office. This is a complete portable, very lightweight. It's only a few pounds. And uh, what this allows you to do is to set up a small office. It does have a table that's on the side here. Open this up. So there is a storage compartment inside. There's a side open panel here. There's a molly uh, in order to put stuff on it. There are these uh, little boxes that you can add onto it as well. Helinox makes them the small. They're pretty expensive. They're about 40 bucks. I found similar boxes uh, for Canon uh, that uh, I can use and, and put stuff on here or, or hang off of chairs and stuff like that. Um, you'll also see that uh, inside here Flap here. There's a flap with uh, two leg assemblies. There's actually four legs, so you can make this as an individual table. So this can snap off. I usually use this as a base and not use it as a separate table, but you do have the ability. Honeycomb, nice and light, very strong, and these just uh, snap in here. I'll show you this after uh, deployed, but let me just show you how this thing fits right here. So there you go, small little field office here, and I have the uh, the chair available for it as well. Now, for a lot of you guys that follow my channel, you know you always I'm always looking for hacks, right? So here, uh, you know I, I've replicated the Helinox small field storage case like I said it's forty dollars seemed a bit pricey for me uh, so I have these uh, camera bags and here I can put small items cell phone different items in there to keep things organized and stuff like that but I did a hack as you guys know me I'm always hacking out stuff so I made out of uh, this thin kind of a press board masonite and put some clips on it so I've made my own little version of the table and I added some some legs this came from uh, some aluminum tubing I had and obviously you can make some some round legs here and use that for uh, for additional uh, for additional legs here and what I did is because I don't have the same clip assembly I just went cheap and dirty cheap and dirty means I uh, epoxied some threaded threaded bolts in there drilled a couple of holes got the height right so everything's nice and level so now I have an additional level to my table so I have an operating position and maybe there's a, a place there to cook some food and stuff like that and then I also have my uh, my chair this is uh, by sport near it's a it's an Amazon brand uh, somebody gave me one of these uh, they uh, they wanted an alternative to Helinox. Helinox does make the lightest chairs, but uh, he preferred to stick to his Helinox brand as he has uh, everything he wanted, everything to match. So I don't, I don't care if it matches or not, right? Nice bag, again, Molly on it. You could put a carabiner on it. So we've got this chair as well. We'll, we'll set this up later, but the, the prime focus of this is the Helinox tactical field office table this is primary use for uh, for me this hand radio portable field operations uh, having a table where I don't have a table uh, or setting up a camp camp cooking spot uh, maybe at a park location and maybe I, I can't get a picnic table so I could just pull this out and go and ample room for storage so I brought this out for field day as well too uh, worked out very well I ended up deploying this inside my actual tent and I had an ICOM 7200 that I was using, making some contacts using the chameleon, um, chameleon antenna for that uh, in the evening. So later on at night, uh, when the mosquitoes came out and I was getting ready to kind of pack it up, I thought, hey, maybe we could squeeze out another hour or two of operation here for field day and do that from inside my tent and uh, try, try this out, how it would look for a complete inbound 
uh, inside tent location. The tent I have has a, a, a vestibule out in the front uh, with mosquito netting and uh, the table would perfectly fit in there but because uh, it's a six-man tent and it's only one man in there I was I have room for my cot so I had a lot of room to, to put this one inside but if I had uh, two cots in the tent I'd have ample room again I could probably set this outside in the vestibule area which is almost like a, a screened uh, screened uh, house if you will and because of the lower height the Helinox stuff is very low profile, you know, hence the low weight. You'll see how low the chair is compared to a regular chair. But very, very, very big fan of the Helinox brand. They make some fantastic stuff. And uh, we'll put this out on the table, show you how it works with a ham radio setup. Okay, guys, thanks a lot.